One of the most challenging times as a karate parent is when your kid comes and tells you they don't want to do karate anymore and they're upset about it and you know the first time people tend to like oh it's okay dear and maybe we'll go another day or they make them come anyway to keep that structure and I want you when that happens start to pay attention to um, to what's going on with your child. Are they loving being in class? If not, um, then we need to have a strong, you need to have a strong conversation with, with the instructor and with your child about um, what is going on for them. I mean, you want to get to the bottom of it the best you can. And, and sometimes children don't have the vocabulary to express that. Um, so when you start to need to make the decision, hey, do I continue this for my child? Do I throw in the towel? When do I do that? How do I know? That's such a hard question. But uh, one place to look is who you're being for your child. In that moment, is it your job to just comfort them? Is it your job to coach or teach them? And if you really see that there's a huge benefit for your child in being at Integrity Martial Arts in terms of their confidence, their focus, their character, those things, well, the time horizon on those is long. And kids don't get long time horizons. They're not developmentally ready for, for that. Um, and the same way that you are as a parent. And that's, that's part of your job is to take a look at hey, if, if we can get through this tough spot and they continue for a couple more years, is that worth the struggle? And if the answer is no, then you know, really talk to an instructor about talking withdrawal. And if the answer is, is yes, then talk to an instructor about, hey, we're in this rough patch, how can you help? And uh, we're happy to help, and we're pretty good at turning things around, and we don't turn every, every story around, but um, when you engage us to help you help your child, it deepens the relationship we have with you and with the child and makes your life easier and their life easier. So I encourage you to uh, come speak with us and, and listen carefully to yourself about whether or not um, you're standing up for your child's long-term good.